Hi YouTube people, um, it's uh, Matt again, uh, H2O Plasma Plug. Um, I, uh, I posted a video um, about uh, the radiant energy circuit from uh, Inventor 3. Um, I just want, I had a, a few friends on Facebook um, say, oh, I'm going to go out and do this, I'm going to start collecting TVs and start doing this. So right away it made me worry, you know, what if they don't know the safety precautions involved in in one of these. So there is a large capacitor right here and it's on average at 200 volts um, f uh, at f uh, 470 uh, um, microfarads. So I, I just wanted to make sure people were safe and um, this is one I just picked up three days ago and the lady said that she had the you know had the TV plugged in um, not too long ago so I just wanted to show you guys that even any of these capacitors should be discharged before touching it. Also, um, it's best to use gloves when you're touching it unless you make sure you use, you put your fingers right on the corners and you can see that there's little screw holes here. So just be very, very, very careful when you're doing all of this. Um, I can't stress to you how important it is that you're careful. So there's the capacitor. Now let's line it up over here. So you can see on here that they actually show you um, just gotta find. I guess that'll work. Hopefully, um, there's no. And make sure that there's no um, no pieces of metal that that are exposed from you know whenever you've used it. This should be good enough to discharge. So on here you can see a, a circle, and that is the capacitor. That is about the size of the capacitor. So what I'm going to do, if I can get the lighting right. Just come over from the other side. Nope, not gonna work like that. We'll come in from here. So you can see the circuit, the circle, and now there there wasn't a, a much of a discharge. I heard a little tick, but after I'm done, I then I go rub over everything. Um, I'm gonna actually just double check with a set of pliers that I have kicking around here, um, which I don't know where I put. Oh, there they are. Okay, so here's the same one. No spark, so it's been discharged. So I'm gonna just go over everything, make sure that everything can then be discharged, because you do not want to get a zap. It, uh, they, you know, 200 volts is a lot, so you just want to be safe. Um, I also wanted to talk to you guys about other things. Um, People say this doesn't exist. They, they, there's someone that told me that um, he, he actually said he calls it bullshit. Uh, it's not bullshit. Um, if, if you guys don't want to go out and find out for yourself, then then you can't say it's not true. Um, it, it, extremely aggravating to find people that are always skeptics, but they're not willing to go out and find out for themselves. So this is my coil. I've got them all connected, all soldered together. Um, you can see that I've got one on the top, which is the lights in the way. So one on the top, two right there, three, four, um, four connected together. I also found this one over here, and it's got, um, I think it's made out of aluminum magnet wire. It, um, it's very, very light. So I haven't taken it apart yet to find out, but I'm judging by the weight, that's exactly what it is. Another thing I wanted to show you guys, when you're building this circuit, this thing costs uh, about uh, 10 to $20. It's got nice little movable arms, and um, for building these circuits, it, uh, it makes it very easy. Um, I wanted to show you guys again all the circuits that I've built, all the different ones, um, and how I've done this. I know it's a little bit of a repeat of the, the first part of the video, but uh, I figure it's just best that, uh, that I tell you guys and show you guys, you know, just keep messing around with it. Try to see what you can do. Inventor 3 shows this one. Uh, Inventor 3 shows the top of this one, and he also admitted that it's better if you uh, use a capacitor with it. Um, I've got, um, these are used with germanium diodes, and they have a green stripe. Um, I don't know what the exact difference is, but someone had donated some extra parts to me. Um, 
uh, we have this thing called free cycle and uh, they, they, uh, there are some germanium diodes in it. So there's these ones. Let's see if I can get it to zoom in on it. Oh, that wants to stay in the background. So these ones got have like a black dot on the end. And uh, I got a huge increase um, in, in the voltage uh, coming in. It, it went up a lot faster. Like where I was getting um, on the meter, it would say... Um, here, we'll take a look here. So on the 200M setting, um, which is... So the 200M, it would uh, it would go up, which is a point zero zero uh, one. It would go one, two, five, ten. Uh, sorry, five, eight. You know, it'd go up in increments between two and four. This one would go in increments of ten, twenty, forty, fifty, seventy. You know, it would it would it would jump a lot faster. So um, there's something to do with these diodes that uh, they absorb more of the radiant energy or something happens where I, I'm, I'm still experimenting, still trying to understand exactly how everything works. Um, there's another one that I built out of all recycled parts. The, cap the capacitors on the top and the bottom were made out of uh, the TV, uh, a TV that I uh, salvaged. And the mid ones are diodes, are um, diodes out of a, uh, what was it called? A battery charger. So um, I try doing this where I've got four on the top instead of two and one on each side. Um, I can't, I, I, I need another person with me so I can actually do a time measuring to find out how fast it get, takes to get up to 0 0.2 volts. So um, it's all just about testing people. Um, be very, very safe with doing this. Um, I, I really don't want anybody to get hurt. Um, actually, I just noticed another capacitor. Maybe we can get that one to show you the, the spark jump. Where is it there? No, I probably already grounded it out. So just make sure you ground everything out. Make sure you have a good insulation on whatever tool you're using for it. Um, and uh, be safe and keep experimenting. If you guys find anything, please post a video. Uh, you know, also inform Inventor 3 of it as well. Uh, we both want to, uh, to try and encourage this as much as possible, show what we learn, and uh, just keep trying new things. That's the whole point of experimenting and uh, being, you know, your own little backyard scientist. Just going to end this off with showing other... Um, you guys don't have to watch this if you don't want, but I'll show you what I've salvaged. So this was, at one time, looked a lot like this. See all those components? A lot there. Do a little zoom. There we go. Um, so a lot there, and then that's what I got left over. So I'm getting a lot of parts. I've, uh, I've got... I've got to hurry this up. I'm at 8 minutes and 24 seconds. So... So yeah, and I got a big pile of large capacitors. So so you guys see, you guys can recycle. Please recycle. And uh, that's an old one that I have. And uh, it's funny how they say, you know, things aren't made how they used to be. I've decided to take only the important parts off of this because it is so well built that it's almost impossible to get the parts off of it without destroying them. Um, they, they, you know, this this one was out of one of those old wooden TVs, the wooden frame TVs. Uh, I think they were around in the 60s and 70s, and uh, it is literally impossible to get things out. So um, this is me signing out uh, yet again. And uh, you got any questions? Please feel free to ask. I'm I'm here to help. I'm sure if you ask Inventor Three any questions, he seems pretty helpful as well. As well. Um, so the goal now is is to build a wire straightener to take these and build one massive coil, one massive Tesla coil. Um, so take care, everyone. Bye-bye.